Hey, hola, my friends. I hope all is well and fine with you and yours. Welcome to Together We Grows, aquaponic, hydroponic, and traditional solar power sustainable gardenings. Guys, I'm in an amazing mood today. Not only is it another beautiful day in the southwestern United States, beautiful city of Tucson, but it is a great day for gardening. It's not too bright. We do have a little bit of cloud up, clouds up above, and that's just great because um, even if you're out here and if it's sunny or if it is cloudy, guys, please stay hydrated. I always try to tell you to be safe out in the garden. But I'm not here just to tell you about ways to be safe in the garden. I'm here to show with you one, to share with you one of my newest designs. And it has a lot to do with that hydroponic gutter system that you see back there. Now, to me, that's the system that I think can really make a change for the world. I'm going to tell you guys more about it in just a minute. Take it easy. Hold on. Now, when I first started really getting into sustainable gardening, my major concern was, yeah, I can do this because I have an ample amount of space in my house. But what about those who don't? What about those who don't have a backyard? What about those who may just have a rental? You guys have heard me mention this in many videos. What about those who may just have a stoop, maybe a porch? Why can't they enjoy the benefits of sustainable gardening along with everyone else? And I gotta tell you guys, I took it a step further than that. That's why I, I got into um, really um, believing in and really following through on the horizontal gutter hydroponic systems because I believe these are the most versatile systems I can build other than the bucket systems. But these ones, they, they just, it's something about the appeal to them and the simplicity that really blows my mind. Let me show you what's a little bit different about the ones that we do. Now, me personally, I said I was going to take it upon myself to eliminate all of the hard work to guess and the confusion for our customers who want the easiest way and the simplest way to get into sustainable gardening. That's why I absolutely love the gutter systems that we develop. All of us have, um, for our, our extended systems, have um, an inline ball valve controller so that you can limit the amount of water that's going through. And just imagine this, just with these little hooks, this just hanging off of your railing on your porch. Each one can be cut custom size. Size up, size down, scaled up, scaled down. We'll even make sure that you get the right reservoir with it. The only thing that you have to do is measure the width of your windowsill or your railing or whatever it is that you want to hang this from and then measure the height, the distance from the um, railing to the floor and we take it from there. How easy is that? Now I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I'm not going to say building one in a gutter systems is easy. It looks easy. That's because in nature in itself, these plants are supposed to be easy to grow shouldn't take much interaction with us at all. Let them do their thing. And what I managed to do and what I tried to do is from aquaponics to hydroponic systems, we tried to get all of that complicated thinking out the way. So for the most part, all you have to do is enjoy your gardens. And once again, guys, it doesn't matter if, it, if it's on a railing. It doesn't matter if it's on your porch. It doesn't matter if it's in your backyard. A plant is a plant. Per, plant that first seed and together we'll grow. Let's take a look at that extended hydroponic system. Now, from the reservoirs to our net cups, to our gutters themselves, we use class five, um, BPH free certified on um, plastic. This is food safe, this is safe for you. This isn't even actually plastic, this is a vinyl. And what we've done is we've taken something that was already good and we've made it great just for you and yours. This system can be used year round. It can be broken down. It can easily be put, plat, put, um, put back together again. As a matter of fact, give me a few seconds. I'm going to show you guys how to actually assemble one of these. Um, I can't actually do it in real time because then I'll be talking to you while I'm doing it. But approximately, it takes approximately um, 10 minutes to put one of these together, fill up your reservoir, and have it running, and you'll be on and gardening. So here you go, my friends. Here's the basis of that entire system that I just showed you. Easily held in one hand. All of the other parts easily fit in a box. For the most part, if you order one of our kits, this will be um, mostly pre-assembled. That's why it's so easy to put together. We took all of the hard guesswork out of it. So without any further ado, I'm actually going to turn this camera angle a little bit, and I'll show you how to put one of these beauties together. And we're going to get it up and running. Hope you're ready. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our larger pieces set out. We have our three covers, all precisely cut, two inch holes for the net pots. And we have our three reservoirs. One, two, three. Easy enough, right? Next up, we're gonna go into our box of pre-assembled cap-ins. Now, 
And notice this one's a little bit different, actually a lot different, because this one is already set up. This is going to be our input line. So this is going to go into, let me set our box down, our first grow bed here. Let's see, there you go, our first grow bed here. So the water will come in through here, and it's going to make its way through the other three grow beds. Let's keep going, hold on. You may also notice, when you go through your pre-assembled parts, that your exit line, it should be here. It's built a little different. Each one is measured specifically to your own um, custom order to which you would ask for in a rig. And that's what I kind of love about the systems. And believe it or not, we have um, all of the other cap ends put on, and it literally took me less than two minutes. So um, let me get this last one put on, and then I'll show you guys the reservoir. Actually, I'll show you guys how to install the tops. Give me a second. Let's go. Okay, guys. So here we go. We have our channels all set up all of the piping is lined up everything's plugged in this is just where in the go we just have to put the tops on it and install the net cups i wanted to take a moment to show you our reservoir and we're going to be going with a 17 gallon black reservoir you can get it from any box store um it works for us and this actually when i show you how efficient this system is and like i said this is a 17 gallon reservoir um when i went after the video after this part when i show you guys how efficient this system is that reservoir in this pump actually runs twice as much as this system and in our case we are going to be going with a 15 watt uh, water pump the head maximum head height is 4.9 feet which is good because um if you look our pump is going to be in here and the actual top the feed line to our first reservoir is right here so we do need a few feet and you always want to factor in how much um, distance how high the height that your water is going to be going from your pump from your reservoir into your main system before you set it up so without any further ado let's get those tops snapped in well all right my friends here we are with our three tops let's get the snapping this is really my favorite part look at how easy this is We'll do this in real time. One, two, and three. After that, the only thing we'd have left are end caps. And I would recommend that you set these on whichever end that you would like to monitor the access of your grow tubes from. So let's just set them down here for now. Snap two, snap two, snap two. Ah! <laughs> Sorry about that, that's my controller. <laughs> you gotta love the bloopers. <laughs> well guys, that would leave us with one thing, almost one thing. We gotta drop our net cops, net cops in. Let's do that in real time too, because another thing, that's another fun activity. Look at how fun this is, bam, one plant. Two plant, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, man. All of these plants. And I can, I'm telling you, I can already feel the goodness just wanting to grow from this beautiful hydroponics garden that we're over here setting up. You guys am? I am. Oh man, I am. There we go. Bam! What's the next up? Let's plug in that pump. Let's get this baby going. Okay, guys, so check it out. We have our pump plugged in. We have our water going through. Now, in any case, it would be nutrient solution in that bucket. I have the water up kind of high right now. You see it's filling up, filling up really fast. So that's why we have the ball valve controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn this water down. All right. We're already entering into the second channel now. Soon it'll be the third channel. I'm actually going to let this fill up. Shouldn't take long, only a few minutes, but I'm going to let this fill up. And then I'm going to come back so you can, guys can see this action, see this in action. Give, just give it a few minutes. Hope you're excited. I am. And bam, just like that, my friends, it's running. You have water going through all chambers from your input line. Through one, through two, through three, and now back into your reservoir. 
this can be scaled up, scaled down to any size. And I know, like, I know you may be feeling, hey guys, I know I can do this on my own. And I've even showed you ways to do this on your own. But out of all the systems I built, this is my favorite. Guys, and I'd love to bring this into your homes. If you are local in the Tucson area, please contact me. Contact me. We can get this built. We can get you up and going. In a little bit, these same standardized systems will be available to order from our Etsy store and also from our TogetherWeGrowAZ.com website. You guys interested? I hope so, man, because I'm telling you, I really believe this is an answer to the future. We can stop road hunger, but we have to do it one house at a time, one porch at a time, one railing at a time. I even meant to tell you guys, the beauty about this system right here, this can be double. This is actually for a customer, and this system is, their system is actually twice as big, so instead of um, 21 ports, it's actually a 42 port system, all run by that same pump, all with that same size recipe. So if you don't think you can do it, yes you can. Contact us, let me show you how to do it, man. Not only is it fun, not only is it just incredibly nutritious for the family, it's being part of something new. And I know you should be a part of it. What do you hesitate for? Come on, plant that first seed. Well, my friends, I know that was a super long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. It was in depth and so many people have been asking me for those details and I'm not trying to hide anything from you guys at all. When I say plant that for a seed and then together we'll grow, I really mean it. I would like to take a second. Guys, if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe. If you're watching this to the end, please hit subscribe. Also like to hit that little bell button so that you're made aware of any time we drop some pretty cool stuff about gardening. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, please check out our friends at um, um, C90 Plus. Check out our friends at Blue Free Optical. Check out our friends at... Um, I gotta stop looking down whenever I'm talking about my sponsors and affiliates, don't I? Yeah, that just, that's, that's not really a good look. Also, at True Aquaponics. And guys, I really mean that about um, Sea Agri and about True Aquaponics because um, if you really want your systems, you really want your gardens to get on and popping and looking like this, I'm telling you, go no further than those two products. I swear by them, this is why my gardens look this great. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, experiment, get out there and make some creations, some rigs of your own. The sky's the limit. There's no right or wrong way to do way to do things. The only wrong way is just not to do it at all. In the meantime, hit that first seed so that together we'll grow. Peace and blessings, my friends, and have a great one.